Hey everyone, Kim Davy here, live on the red carpet of season two premiere of Vita. We have the directors, we have the producers, and we have the artists. Do not go anywhere. Firstly, I have been watching a whole bunch of videos online, all about you talking about the show, etc. And I just love your personality. Oh, you are so you. outgoing and so oh, vibrant, vivacious, and just amazing. And so, how did you get nervous? So it, it turns into bubbliness, you know. <laughs> well, that's good. Talking fast is always exciting. So, can you please just take us back and how did this all come about and why do we need this type of show now? Well, stars came to me. Uh, they pitched me the show. Well, they said, we want to show about gentrification, which is the gentrification of a Latinx space by upperly mover Latinx. And I thought that was such an interesting concept. And, and we went from there. I added the queerness. I added a little bit of witchcraft, a little, you know, all of it. All the fun uh, stuff. The fun stuff, you know. Um, and, and then he... And then it went because you know there were six other shows that they were developing and then there were four and then there were two and then we went and that for a first time show runner i'd only been in hollywood three years it was it was a dream so like when we got here last year i just i, I was like how are we here you know but now i know how we're here because the the show did did premiere and you know the first season and it, it, it I showed that it mattered you know that it showed that we exist as Latinx as complicated flawed beings but also as you know in, in with a sexual agency and intelligent all of the those complicated things that we don't get to be on yeah. American television because there's nothing really else like it on TV is there so again like why is it important now to be showcasing this because we have not been part of the narrative of the United States for so long you know like we we haven't and so I, if I it kind of feels radical that we get to be our true selves in this because you know my whole writer's room is latinx mostly yeah. female there's only That's one female. male yeah, yeah. yeah so the fact that we get to write it all my directors are latina too so the fact that their eyes get to tell it my my dps are female my uh editors are female so the fact that we get to handle our own story i think it matters and i think that's what you're noticing you know that's awesome so good and like for yourself how did this come about for you like tell us a bit more about your background and why now why you how this i uh was a playwright I guess I still am, was uh, in Chicago, living in Chicago happily. Then um, an agent found one of my plays and was like, come take meetings in LA. And I was like, mm, okay. And then I booked a job, even though I didn't know how to write for TV. So then it took me, you know, I was working as a TV writer, learning to be a TV writer, as, you know. And then now we're here. I mean, three years after that, this happened. So that I'm still astounded you know well, but it's important for because there's not a lot of me there's not a lot of latina showrunners you know so like in a way i understand the importance there should be more of me you know there so should but then so what advice do you have for other writers wanting to make it in playwriting or for screen and how they can make it to just keep doing it and i know that sounds so easy but it's it's a radical thing when you are latina or Latinx, um, when you are told by your own culture that you should not do that. Sometimes our own parents are our own worst enemy. You have to shut that down. And also the dominant culture will not give you access. They will not open the door. You, you still keep doing it. Keep writing, keep telling our story, because if we don't do it, they're gonna tell them wrong. They have been telling them wrong, so we it's our responsibility. We have to tell our stories. Yeah. Well, congratulations, season two, maybe a season three on its way. Fingers crossed. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the evening. Nice Thank to meet you.